everyone! So welcome back to CD Panchara Kimia Awa. In this video, I'm going to explain some exceptions to the octet rule. Naturally, some of covalent compounds are stable even though the central atom do not fulfill the octet configuration. According to octet rule, atoms should have the configuration of noble gas, which means they either bring octet add electrons or duplet with two electrons. But there are some exceptions to the octet rule. Number one, incomplete octet. Second one, expanded octet. Or number three, odd electron molecules. So the first exception, incomplete octets, which means the central atom have less than eight electron. They do not achieve the octet configuration. The central atoms usually came from group 2 or group 13 in the period 2, which means they are the low properties of metal. The example of central atom usually is Be, beryllium, B, boron, Al, aluminium, Li, lithium, or stenum, Sn. In a short form, we can call it bubalism. I repeat, bubalism. Now, let's have a look at these compounds. The first one we have AlCl3 with Al as the central atom. Okay, if you have a look here, Al has six electrons in the central atom, which means they are not octet. The second one, we have BF3 with B as the central atom, and also they have six electrons here. Next, we have BeCl2 with beryllium as the central atom. In this case, beryllium has four electrons at the central atom, also not octet. So, all these three central atoms shows that they are not octet, which means they are in the category of incomplete octets, but they are still stable compound. Now, let's have a look at the second exception to octet rule, which is expanded octet. In this case, central atoms having more than 8 electrons. Some of them even have 10 or 12 valence electron. This central atom usually comes from the non-metal of period 3 and onwards. They have the ability to have more than 8 electrons because they have empty d orbital that available to occupy the extra electrons. Now let's have a look at some of the examples of expanded octet. The first one we have PCl5. In this case, phosphorus is the central atom. If you ha have a look carefully here, you have phosphorus with 10 electrons. That means they have more than 8 electrons. The next one we have SF6. In this case, sulfur is the central atom. And sulfur, in this case, have more than 8 electrons. Guess how much? They get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Oh, they have 12 valence electrons in the central atom. So, these two compounds both have central atoms having more than 8 electrons. And they both expanded. And they both are located in the period 3 and onwards. And they're both stable. The third exception to octet rules is the odd electron molecule. In this case, molecules have odd number of electrons. Usually, the central atoms are coming from an odd number group. For example, like nitrogen coming from group 15 and chlorine from group 17. Now, let's have a look at an example of compounds. Here we have nitric oxide. In this case, nitrogen has 7 electrons, while oxygen has 8 electrons. In total, the molecule has 11 electrons. The second compound is nitrogen dioxide, NO2. In this case, nitrogen as the central atom has 7 electrons, and both oxygen and terminal atoms has 8 electrons. And overall, in total, nitrogen dioxide as a molecule has 15 electrons. Usually, for the, com for the molecule to be octet, they need even number of electrons, as the central atom usually has 8 electrons as well. But in both of these cases, the octet rule cannot be satisfied, 
because they both has odd number of electrons. So guys, in this video we've already covered the topic of exception to the octet rule, subtopic. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And click the bell icon below if you want to be notified with our new videos. Alright? So thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.